Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. See in this result, what we have f is equal to p comma q, which is continuously differentiable function. They have given a very important information that is line integral of p dx plus q dy over c is zero. And this is true for every closed curve c in D. What we have to prove, simply we have to prove that derivative of p with respect to y partial derivative is equal to partial derivative of q with respect to x. This thing we have to prove. So we'll work on given information first. So let us consider this integral. So let me mention here, consider line integration over c, okay, p dx plus q dy. They are given to us its value is 0, right? But first of all, I will try to express this integral in a different way. So this is equal to integration over c. So see, same thing we can express in this way, pi plus qz dot dxi plus dyz. You know well how to take a dot product, multiple of i into multiple of i, you will have p dx, multiple of z into multiple of d, you will have q dy. Okay, same thing I have written. This is equal to line integration over c, pi plus qz, that is nothing but p, q, p comma q, which is f. So let me mention f bar here, dot product is there, right? And this is nothing but our dr bar, dr bar. Okay, so we express the given line integral in this way. They have given to us its value is zero always. So we can say value of this line integral of f bar dot dr bar over c, that is also zero for every closed curve c in d. Let me mention that thing here. Okay, so by given information, let me mention, so therefore, by given information, we can write integration of a bar dot dr bar over c is 0 and is true for, let me mention, around every closed curve c in D. Will you tell me this is definition of what? This is definition of conservative field, right? So value of line integral of a bar dot a bar is zero for every closed curve in D. So therefore we can say our field a bar is conservative. So let me mention that thing. So implies a bar is conservative on D. Okay, so field is conservative. So when we have a conservative field, definitely it has some potential function. We will call it as phi. So implies a bar has potential function. We will call it as phi. Okay. So you know the meaning of potential function. Phi is a potential function. That means it is a scalar field such that a bar is equal to del phi. So let me mention here, therefore, a bar is equal to del phi. Okay. So what will I do? I will put the value of f bar. f bar is equal to p comma q. Let me write it here. p comma q. Del phi. So you know the operator del. Okay. So here derivative of phi with respect to x and derivative of phi with respect to y. After that, what can we do? We are saying both of them are equal. So we can equate components. That means p is equal to the first component and q is equal to second component. Okay, so let me write that thing before that make a screenshot of it. See, so therefore I have written p is equal to the first component is equal to first component and second component q is equal to dev of i by dev of y. Now what will I do? I will take derivative of p with respect to y. So let me take derivative of p with respect to y. So here what will happen? Deba square phi by deba y deba x. Since already partial derivative of with respect to x is there and now we are taking partial derivative with respect to y. So that's why I wrote in this way. And here on that side what will I do? I will take partial derivative of q. That means actually I will take partial derivative of both sides with respect to x. So therefore, we will have deba q by deba x is equal to here also we have to take partial derivative. Already we have one partial derivative, we are taking one more. So we'll have deba square phi and deba x deba y. Okay. See, uh, actually the given information is f is continuously differentiable. So that's why this partial derivatives exist and continuous also. See, mixed partial derivatives we have both exist and continuous. So therefore, 
yeah equality of conditions for equality of mixed partial derivatives satisfied so therefore what can we say this mixed partial derivatives are also equal i will repeat since our f bar is continuously differentiable so that's why this partial derivatives exist and continuous so that's why we can say mixed partial derivatives are also exist and continuous so therefore what can we write but deba square phi upon deba y deba x and here deba square phi upon deba x to deba y okay so therefore what can we write here oh uh, okay let me write here so therefore 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 see right hand sides are equal so obviously left hand sides are equal so th these two are same these two are equal so therefore what can we write deba p by deba y is equal to deba q by deba x and obviously it is true for each and every point of d okay since we are talking about entire regions d so that's why this partial derivatives will be equal for each and every point of d so therefore in this way we got the result okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye